Hi, I'm Ed Edmonds with Distortions Unlimited, and this is Zombie Beheaded. Now, this is a line we came up with in the late 90s, and there was a number of them, but this one in particular, we're going to talk about today, and um, it was used, I know, by Buckethead, but we make these things, then we send them off into the world, we have no idea, so we are going to get an expert, A.J. Good at the House of Mass, to tell you more about Zombie Beheaded. <laughs> Hello all, what a pleasure it is to be back here on the Distortions Unlimited channel with Ed doing this Monsters of Rock series. Ed has brought me back on to talk to you guys a little bit about the incredible edible Distortions Unlimited Beheaded Illusions zombie prop. Actually, this prop is not edible. Please do not try to eat your Distortions props. Now, I've got to say that out of all the videos that we've shot in this series and all the videos that we plan to shoot for this series, I am the most excited for this episode. And that is because the Distortions Unlimited Beheaded Illusions zombie prop is my all time favorite distortions prop. My original vintage piece here is probably a top five in my collection just in general. Aside from the fact that it's just a very strange and very bizarre prop, there's just something about the look of it that's really, really unsettling. It was also very innovative for its time. I don't care what you say, I'm pretty sure Distortions did the Illusions puppets first. But on top of that, one of my all-time favorite musicians is the one that made this prop famous. Now, if you're a straight Distortions collector, you're probably seeing these props that are sitting on my desk and wondering why they look a little bit different than the actual Distortions prop. Well, that is because Buckethead is actually the one to make these famous, and he did some slight alterations to this piece. So this is what a normal Distortions Unlimited Beheaded Illusion zombie prop would look like. As you can see, we've got the tongue there. That's kind of the fun in this thing. You're actually using your hand on the inside to wiggle the tongue around while it looks like you're holding the hair on the head here. But aside from some normal wear and tear from using this thing on stage every single night, Buckethead also made some intentional changes to his Beheaded Illusion zombie prop. Now, the first thing that he would do is rip out all of the foam. I don't know if he did this for weight purposes or cleanliness purposes. Definitely can't be fun sticking your sweaty hand into a foam filled prop every single night, but regardless I'm pretty sure all of his Beheaded Illusions props had the foam ripped out. Now the next thing he would do, and definitely the biggest change in appearance, is he would tuck the tongue in. Thus creating an actual talkable puppet here. And for some reason, that just took this already bizarre prop and made it way, way weirder. Way, way weirder. Now that I've explained to you how Buckethead actually changed the prop, let's talk about how he used the prop. If you are a Buckethead fan, you'll probably know these props to be named Herbie. Apparently in Buckethead lore, Herbie was a farmer that in some way, shape, or form ridiculed Buckethead, and Buckethead chopped his head off. Now Buckethead uses these Herbie heads to communicate with the world. Buckethead has used these props for interviews. There's lots of ways to get from the bottom to the top. It's kind of like digging a hole. Musical numbers. <laughs> and the speaking parts of songs during his sets. And while these DU beheaded zombie props are the most infamous and well-known of the Herbies, he's also used quite a few other props as Herbies, including yet another Distortions Unlimited beheaded illusions prop. Buckethead's Herbies went through many, many changes throughout the years from normal wear and tear, repaints, and even swapping out for different Herbies. As you can see, I've got three different copies here now. Now, as far as the Distortions zombie prop goes, this is the last variant that we saw. And just a little fun fact about this version here, this was actually purchased from Mask Wizard Mike covert straight from Janine at Distortions and later gifted to Buckethead during a show. Now in all reality I could pretty much write a book about this prop and go on and on and on but I feel like I summarized it pretty well here so I'm gonna hand it back off to Ed with a big thank you for once again allowing me to be in these videos and a recommendation to go check out Buckethead if you haven't yet. Back to you Ed. Thank you for doing that AJ. You know we don't know the history of these things once they leave, and it's really nice to find out. So this is one of those pieces that I sculpted. I think I sculpted most of the uh, Behead Illusions. Um, uh, there might have been one or two that I didn't. And, you know, it was marginally successful as a series, and we just sent them to the retailers, and... Um, and uh, they did well, but not fantastic. So we eventually uh, discontinued it. But we did bring them back recently because we kept getting these people ordering them and we weren't sure why and well we found out why but uh this is just one of the many uh sculptures i did and it was an idea that we thought was really clever because you can some of them talk and a rat girl's got a little rat in her mouth and things but this one you wiggle his tongue but you're basically holding it 
in here where you, you, you operate it, but it looks, it's a powerful illusion that, you know, I've done it to people and they think, do you got a servo in there or something? No, it's very, very primitive. But it's, you know, it's just a fun thing. Like, I think they use them for line entertainers and performing and stuff in haunted houses, but he just kind of, and he can say things, you know, he can say stuff that you can't say, and that's kind of fun. Your mother wears army boots, me. So anyway, this is Zombie Beheaded, and uh, he's got a little bit of a history, and uh, we love him. Do you love us? Nope. All right. But uh, again, thank you, AJ, and we will catch you next time.